Hello everyone, welcome back to Crown Geek. In this video, I will be explaining that how to fix Windows script host error on Windows 10 and Windows 11 that pop up with a message Windows script host cannot find a script file. I will be sharing three to four effective solutions, but you need to apply them very carefully and do not skip any part. And if this will work for you, let me know in the comment section and do not forget to like and subscribe that really motivate me to create more effective and useful videos for you. So on your Windows 10 or 11 search box, you have to click on it and type CMD. Right click on the command prompt and choose run as administrator. Then click on yes. The black window will be appearing up. Here you have to type SFC space forward slash scan now. Hit enter. Now this command will be scanning all the system file and looking for any kind of integrity violation. So you just have to wait here until it's been 100% completed. What we can do, we can minimize it and move with the next solution. In the next step, we have to click on the search box again, type REG, EDIT, and then from the suggestion, you have to click on registry editor. Then click on yes. Now here from the left in menu option, you have to click on HKEY current user, expand it, then look for software, double click and expand it. Then you have to look for Microsoft, double click and expand it. And then here you have to look for Windows script host. Keep scrolling down and you will find Windows script host. This one double click on it then you will be getting settings double click on it and then on the right hand side you will be getting the entry by the name enabled All right so you need to make a double click on it and just make sure the value data has been set to one okay if it's been set to zero to any other value then you have to set it to one then you have to click on okay now in case if you do not find this key over here let me delete it if you don't find any enabled key over here then you need to make a right click here on the blank space what up to new choose dot 32 bit value then name it as enabled then you have to double click on it and name the value data to one all right so this is how you can just set this value to one and once you are done you have to go back to the registry and this time you have to click on H key classes root that is on the top. Double click on it. Now here you have to look for an extension dot VBS. So keep scrolling down until you find the extension dot VBS. Here it is dot VBS. Once you get it on the right side of it, you will be getting a value of default. Just double click on it. Now you need to make sure that this value data should be set to VBS file exactly as it is written in the box right now if it's been empty then you have to write vbs file if it's been changed to anything else then you need to rename it to vbs file all right once you're done you have to click ok again and now you can just close the registry editor next you have to download the microsoft safety scanner the link will be in the description once you come here you will be getting for both 32 bit and 64 bit in order to find your operating system version, you can click on your search box, type system, click system information from the suggestion. And here it will show you that what kind of uh, system type it is. Like on my end, it says x64. Okay, so I can just minimize it and download the 64 bit. Once it downloaded, you have to click on the downloaded file. Click on yes. And the wizard will be up. You have to accept the terms. Then click on next. Next. Now it asks you the quick scan and the full scan. I would recommend that you should go with a full scan if you have the time. Or else you can also go with a quick scan. Then click on next. Now this will be scanning all your computer. Let it run in the background. It may take some time. Now again you have to return back to the black window where you just ran a command. And it says Windows Resource Protection did not find any integrity violation. But probably you may have some kind of integrity violation, but that will be automatically fixed. All right. Once this is completed, you can close it. Next, again, you have to bring up your registry editor. So click on the Windows search type REGEDIT. Open registry editor in the suggestion. 
and this time you have to click on H key local machine. Then you have to look for software. Then you have to look for Microsoft. And then you have to look for Windows NT. So keep scrolling down until you find Windows NT. Here it is. Double click on it. Then double click on current version. And now here you have to look for win logon. Okay, in the current version, you have to look for win logon. Keep scrolling down and you will find win logon. Double click on it. Now, once you double click on it, on the right hand side, you will see all kind of entries. Now, here you have to look for an entry called user INIT. Okay, so just scroll down and you will find user INIT. Now, here you need to delete all the entries that are below user INIT. So, on my end, I see only two entries VM applet and WinStation disabled. So, you have to delete it. Make a right click on it and click delete. So if you have three or four values, then you have to delete everything that is below user IN IT and delete again. Once done, you have to double click on user IN IT and make sure that this value data is being set to this path only. C colon back forward slash windows back forward slash system 32 back forward slash user IN IT dot exe. If it's been changed to anything else, then you have to copy the same path and paste over here. Then you have to click on OK and now close it. So you can see the scan completed successfully and viruses, spyware, other potentially unwanted software detected and removed. Now click on finish, restart your PC and I'm pretty sure that your problem will be fixed. So that's all guys. Hopefully this solution will surely work. And if yes, do not forget to like, subscribe for any question. Let me know in the comment section. Till then take care. Bye bye.